Hello again everyone. In my last video I shared some reactions and observations from our RDR trips around the country. Today I want to share some more. There are three points I want to touch on. Firstly, are more rules the silver bullet? Secondly, some questions about remuneration specifically and the impact of possible changes. And lastly, some thoughts about where to start in preparing for RDR. So let's start with rules, policing and sanctions. In our game of financial services and financial advice, rules are necessary. Without them, we'd have absolute chaos. But making rules, as RDR is suggesting in its 55 proposals, is just one way to address the concerns in the system. Rules are just words. For the system to work, to be able to address the concerns, we have to have adequate policing of the words and the necessary sanctions that back up the policing. Advisors suggest that RDR needs to show greater policing and greater sanction to balance the words, because this will help to recreate consumer confidence in the industry. The next point is the one dealing with the question about remuneration specifically and the impact of possible changes. We know that the devil lies in the detail, and therefore we support the fact that the FSB isn't simply jumping into solution mode, but has called for a range of input before finalizing the RDR proposals. However, advisors are still worried about the business impact of possible changes to commission, both long-term and short-term, because if some of the proposals go through in their current form, they'll have potentially significant impacts on cash flow, efficiencies, profitability, and sustainability of advisors' businesses. For example, decisions around the rates of commission. If these drop, What's the financial impact on my business? How long will I have to transition to the new world? There are already rumors about the so-called new level of short-term commission. It's speculation, and it just creates more uncertainty and at worst panic. By all means, let's consider scenarios, but don't change your lives or your businesses based on these rumors. If there's no second year commission on life business, what happens to effective rates of commission? Will we just lose them? If commission is banned on replacement life business, will it lead to unintended consequences? Does the new rule simply swap one problem, for example, commission-driven churn, with another one, for example, less replaced policies, even though they'd be appropriate for customers? These are all really important issues, and they need more detail and more answers before advisors can act. Lastly, let's deal with some thoughts about where to start in preparing for RDR. I've been asked a number of times what advisors can start doing, even at this early and uncertain stage, to prepare for RDR. We know change is coming. So for me, the starting point is to focus on your business. Take a longer term view, not as a rep in your business, but do what a business owner will do. Do this because it's good business, not because RDR says you must do it. I think the starting point is a fundamental question for all advisors to ask. It's a decision point. The answer will determine what you do and where you go. I believe that the one question, and it's difficult to find a single question, is do I want to be in this game in three years time? You might say no, but at least it will be a conscious choice and you will decide. If it's yes, then I think the next question is as what? Using RDR language, do you want to be an IFA, a multi-tie or a tied advisor? This is important because each status or designation has its own set of implications. You may already be clear in your own mind. If not, then start with what each one, IFA, multi-tie or tied, will be able to do and won't be able to do. Some things will resonate with you and the label will follow. Other things and labels you won't want. Whichever way you decide, it'll give you a clear starting point for the next step of decisions. And we'll deal with that in another episode. Till next time, cheers.